Okay, to finish off application security, some references. I should probably uh, do the references at the beginning, so uh, I'll try and remember to do that as we start crypto in the next session. Uh, so in terms of uh, the software uh, security, uh, application security, the uh, uh, specialties and, and so forth, uh, but the, uh, the best reference uh, overall is Software Engineering by Ian Somerville. Um, now, this is, uh, in a sense, a fairly standard uh, how to program uh, manual. Um, you know, it, it can be used as uh, the basis for um, any kind of overall uh, programming or development course, um, probably at pretty much any level. The thing is, um, it does not address security as a separate issue. There's a, a chapter on software security. It is integrated throughout the text. And that is um, very useful. Uh, that is the way you should be seeing it. That is the way that it should be done in terms of application development. So, um, yeah, uh, great big thick book. Uh, very similar to uh, uh, Security Engineering by uh, Anderson. Uh, both of them, just, you know, they should be in your library. They are uh, excellent references. Um, so, uh, really can't uh, uh, <laughs> over-promote that one. I, I highly recommend it. Um, software security, building security in by McGraw. Um, this is, um, again, it's, it's good at the overall, uh, uh, software development, uh, area. Um, eh, in particular, I think it's, it's a good, um, uh, Emphasis on web development, web application uh, development. So, uh, sort of the you know specialty areas there. Um, that would be uh, definitely one of your go-to's. Uh, applied software project management by Stallman and Green. Now, um, this is something that. Uh, I mean, there's, there's lots of, of project management books, software project management books, you know, development texts and, and that sort of thing. Um, this is going to particularly concentrate on the software development life cycle that, as I say, is your go-to tool for uh, ensuring the uh, security. Um, well, and, and really the uh, functionality, uh, reliability, feasibility of your software projects and, and your development system. So, um, yeah, um, that is uh, another good one. Um, and, uh, oh, I should, I should mention... Um, uh, research Directions in Database Security by Lund. Um, this book is like 30 years old now. And in a sense, um, rather depressing. Because all of the problems that are uh, outlined in that book basically still exist. Still have not been effectively dealt with. Uh, it is uh, oh, 
Well, it, it is helpful in terms of identifying the problems specific to uh, database security and the, uh, the conceptual, foundational uh, problems um, that are just intrinsically part of, of database management. So, um, uh, maybe not something that you'd want to buy as preparation uh, for the exam, but um, certainly if you are uh, working specifically or want to work specifically in the database field, uh, definitely one to get. Um, now, an, an oddball one, uh, and i got to admit this was written by a friend of mine, um, Rethinking the Electronic Healthcare Record by Weilu. Um Now, this may sound uh, very specialized. Uh, you know, not all of you are going to be working with medical software and, and particularly medical records. But it has a... Um, uh, an important point about um, the significance, the uh, crucial importance of ensuring that you do the requirements correctly. And uh, this is sort of chapter and verse in, in one particular field, but the problem with so much medical software that it's addressing the wrong requirements. That somebody has come in, decided what uh, medical professionals need in terms of software, and they've addressed that issue. Um, and so we have, uh, you know, really good medical billing software, but software that actually helps the medical professionals to keep the information in one place to um, uh, address the concerns of this specific patient, um, the uh, possible uh, stuff that they um, walk, uh, are going to uh, uh, going to need that they, you know the medical professionals are going to need to to identify any quirks or or specialties. Um, uh, that is um, a, a really good uh, learning uh, uh, tool for addressing the importance of the requirements and getting the requirements right um, when you are uh, addressing uh, any kind of development issue. So, um, the... Oh, last one to throw in there. Viruses Revealed by uh, David Harley and one Robert Slade. Um, and, yeah, okay, I'm pushing my own book, but um, it is uh, in the library upon which the exam is based. So, you might as well see what we said. And besides, it's, um, uh, it's a little uh, aging, but it is... Um, uh, some of the literature into malware and, and hope we tried to be somewhat conceptual and forward-looking uh, about these issues and look at it in uh, fundamental terms rather than just the specific uh, viruses. So, anyways, that's uh, you can take that as for what it's worth.